Today, I will be teaching you about using image maps to create fabrics in Clo. To demonstrate, we will create this chainmail fabric since it uses all six of the image map options. If you'd like to follow along, download the images linked in the description below. Let's start by looking at a Clo fabric from the library. I have one of the 3D shape avatars and a pattern piece in my workspace. And by default, it is using Fabric One in the object browser. This fabric does not have any image maps. Also, this fabric does not have a real world equivalent as it relates to its physical properties. Note the physical properties at the bottom here, just custom. These are the settings applied to the Clo default Fabric One. I'm going to use the target here to place the fabric piece on top of this shape and simulate. While it is simulating and the fabric is selected, I'm going to drag cotton heavy canvas onto the pattern piece in the 3D window. Note how the drape of the fabric changes. This is because the physical properties of the fabric are different from before. If I zoom in in the 3D window, I can see now that it looks like cotton heavy canvas. This is because the fabric has two image maps applied. Select the fabric in the object browser and let's look at our property editor. First, the texture. This is the color information. This would be the equivalent of a scan or a photo of a piece of fabric, the normal map. This adds the illusion of three-dimensional geometry. Most of the fabrics in the Clo library have either no maps or just a texture and normal map. Furs and Sherpas will use either the fur properties or a displacement map. More on that soon. Normal maps all look very similar in terms of color, as this is how the software creates the illusion of the surface of the fabric. Although the example we are using here is to create a fabric, the techniques can also be applied to graphics, buttons, buttonholes, top stitching, and trims. Beyond the assets in the object browser, you can also edit the avatar and its accessories as well. The key is understanding which image map to place in what spot in the property editor. To help us, we will create this chainmail fabric. I chose this because it uses all six of the image maps. Let's continue to work with the cotton heavy canvas but let's remove the texture and the normal maps by clicking the trash can icon to the far right of the preview icon here. If you simulate, you'll notice that the fabric drape stays the same, but it now looks blank. We're going to have some fun and work some with some image maps that will allow us to create this chainmail fabric. I chose this because we can use all of these image maps in all the areas here in the property editor. Texture, normal, displacement, opacity, roughness, and metalness. Here is what these images look like. Based on the way the color and contrast are used, each one will have its own effect on the fabric. Although a normal map is shown here, Clo can automatically create this, so it is not necessary to have a separate image to get the effect. When placed in the corresponding areas of the property editor, here are the effects that are added. Each image map has been added to its own fabric in the proper area. The image you're looking at is a render. When we then view this in the 3D window, the effects may be considerably different. Note this visual here in our Clo 3D workspace. Most notable are the displacement, roughness, and metalness maps. Little or no change to the surface of these particular patterns. In these images, we can get a little better understanding of what happens when the images are applied 
See how the normal map gives you the illusion of depth, while the displacement map actually displaces the surface of the mesh. Each image simply needs to be added to the correct area. Displacement, roughness, and metalness settings can be adjusted to affect the appearance. Download the image maps from the link below and unzip and extract that folder. You can add them to the library as I have done here or put them in your documents or desktop. Either way, just remember the location. Let's open the Understanding Image Maps project included here. As you can see, there are eight fabrics. Six of them have individual image maps applied. I'm going to select the final fabric in the object browser. In the property editor, physical property, choose a fabric that will give you the drape properties you are looking for. I am again going to choose cotton heavy twill so it does not have much stretch. Simulate so your fabric redrapes. Important, place all image maps in before you decide to use the edit texture tool. Drag from the library onto the fabric in the 3D window. Clo will ask you which map you would like to place. For now, choose texture. You can add the normal map in the same way. Or, if you simply adjust the intensity in the object browser, Clo will create a normal map from the texture. Note that the two are now linked if you do this. If you delete the texture, the normal map is removed. If you will be placing a displacement map, you can bypass adding the normal map if you would like. Now I'm going to bring the folder with the textures to the front over Clo. You can drag them right from here. There's my displacement map. I'm going to put these right on these four little squares. I call this the gallery. You can also click the gallery and it will open a window and you can browse to your image maps. I will do this for the opacity map. Under reflection, change the intensity to map in the drop down and add the roughness map. And finally, add the metalness map. If you would like to change the scale of the texture image maps, you can now do so with the edit texture tool in either window. To help us create the proper visualization of our fabric, Let's use Interactive Render. Go to the Render menu and choose Render. Click to begin the Interactive Render. Rotate your window so it's angled similar to what you see here. And your Render window is then filled with our chain mail. In the Image Properties, change the size of either the width or the height to match the other. This will create a square image. Our fabric is not very exciting yet. We need to make some adjustments to three of our image maps. You can activate desaturate in the texture image map. This will remove color and leave a grayscale texture. This would work if you then also change the color down there below of the displacement map. Under displacement map, change the amount here to seven millimeters. This particular image is a high quality image. So a higher value will give you a good result. If you have a low quality image, you may need to keep this value at two to three millimeters. Raise the map intensity of the roughness map to 75 and check the box to invert. Also, change the reflection intensity and metalness to 75. You can experiment with the values of these adjustments so that you get the desired effect. Once you're happy with your changes and it is finished previewing, stop the interactive render. Click the Save Current Image button.
Note the location and assign a name. In the property editor, edit the name and anything else you would like in this information section. Click Save at the top of the property editor. This small window will open. Click Add Custom Image, then click the plus sign. Go to where you just saved the image and open it, then click OK. Choose a location to save your fabric. You should save it to a different folder than the CLO default fabrics. I will save mine here with my chainmail images. You have just created a material, in this case, a fabric from scratch and saved it so you can use it in all of your designs.